Hello and welcome to Rare Vision Reflections. And today I start with another series of uh, videos which are based on my current book that I'm writing. The title of the book is A Global Grimit, a comprehensive history and heritage textbook from 1000 BCE, including the colonial peers to the current era. This is a critical decolonized counter narrative to the colonized and new colonized narratives. I start uh, this uh, series uh, with uh, chanting of Gayatri uh, Mant, Om Gur Bhuva Swa, Prasavitu Varenyam, Bhago Devasa Dingman, Diyo Yo Na Rajo Dayat. Our existence absolute, created out the three dimensions. We contemplate upon thy divine light. May he stimulate our intellect and bestow upon us through knowledge and through his mantra. I hope uh, I get sufficient wisdom to do justice uh, to this uh, series. I start off with the preface. I'm writing this book as a comprehensive textbook for teaching purpose and for understanding the global mid system of human trafficking. This book also provides a counter narrative to the Eurocentric colonial and often biased history of the Indian in danger system, which is also known as the Kidmit system. This was primarily done to justify the inhuman system of labor recruitment, transportation, exploitation, and exile. Majority of the neo-colonial academics, writers, and commentators have continued with the colonial versions of the history without ever challenging their motives nor examining the veracities of their narratives. The colonial narratives of the Gurmit and Gurmiti history is filled with misleading information as well as propagandas designed to benefit the colonialists. What makes this book unique and arguably the first of this kind is because it seeks to respect the uh, versions of the lands of the people of color and the subsequent appropriation of their land to what had happened in the Western Europe after two, 2000 BC. Uh, I'll explain the significance of uh, uh, what happened around 2000 BC later in my book and as we get along with these videos. We must remember that it was the countries in the Western Europe that had colonized the land and people of color post 1492. They included Portugal, Spain, France, Great Britain, Germany, Poland, and Italy. The appropriation of the lands of people of color was preceded by large-scale genocides of the uh, natives. Millions of the original inhabitants of these lands were killed through armed warfare and gem warfare until only a handful remained in many of these countries, including the Americas, Canada, and Australia. Many thousands were also killed in New Zealand and Fiji. This was followed by mass enslavement, transportation, exploitation of natives of Africa, India, and China. The human trafficking for cheap labor was extended to the Irish people as well as to the poor of England, Wales, and Scotland. In my book, Silent Cries, which I launched in 1995 in UK, 
I had uh, linked for the first time the Indian indenture system to the African slavery and to both racism in the UK. I firmly believe that uh, an historical understanding of the current issues confronting us would provide us with uh, knowledge that caves, escapes many who look at the same issue with uh, narrow tunnel, tunnel visions. This is recently in my conference paper titled the Doctrine of Discovery, European Invasions, Genocide, Colonization, Human Trafficking and Profiteering. I have touched on some of the issues that I cover in this book. It is my aim and hope that this book will be the first ever comprehensive book on global, global Gilmity studies for students, teachers, policymakers, as well as anyone who wish to learn about the global Gilmit or endangered system. Having said that, this book goes beyond the study of global Gilmit and provides a vivid look back in the historical events that have contributed to the colonial and imperialism, mass genocide, land appropriation, human trafficking for cheap labor and profiteering for a handful, handful of people, including the royalties of that period. I believe that history is cyclical, like the journey of life or prana, the journey of a body and all the creation of the creator, history is also cyclical. History informs us that the savages, the savage battles, genocide and land appropriation that used to take place in Europe still happens today. The First World War, the Second World War, in the first half of the 20th century, and the Russian-Ukraine war in the second decade of the 20th century are just three examples. Hundreds of savage wars took place in between. Now to introduction before I end this episode. There was a time in history when acquisition and imparting of knowledge through the prevailing education system was confined to a selected few in a community or in a nation. Slowly, the privilege to acquire and teach knowledge through education system began to spread to more people as schools, gurukuls, colleges, and universities began to appear in many parts of the world. However, even until recently, a lot of people across the world did not receive basic education and higher education was confined to my the privileged class. In the post-industrial world, education had to spread out in order to prepare students to perform menial blue-collar jobs and a few privileged white-collar jobs. Academic courses and curriculums were written to train people for specific jobs and any worldly knowledge gained may have been welcome addition. I stop today's video here. I'll continue uh, with this narrative in my next episode and subsequent episodes. So until then, uh, if you like uh, to uh, continue uh, watching these videos, uh, please subscribe to my channel and uh, uh, you may like to uh, share uh, this video with your friends. And uh, once again, goodbye.